This video will be a nail supplies for beginner nail techs. This video will be based on my perspective as an instructor in the nail industry as well as a nail tech and as a student. The first thing I will think is very important is cuticle pushers. There are so many different kinds. These are the most common ones I use. I have a ton more, but these are the most common ones. One of my favorites is the straight cuticle pusher, just like this. Now this one is a lot more sharper, so you just have to be a little bit more careful when working with the client. This one I think I got from AliExpress or eBay, and this one's great for removing product. So I don't use the same cuticle pushers to push the cuticle and to remove product. I like to keep them separate. And I do use the other side to clean off any dead cuticle or any leftover acrylic on the nails. It just works really, really good for that. And they don't have to be expensive. They could be cheap ones just to remove products off the nail. Now, this one is definitely one of my favorites. I got this one from Sally's Beauty Supply. And this one is great because it is a straight cuticle pusher, but the corners are a little rounded. So it's a little bit safer to use on the nail, but they just really really push back the cuticle and clean up your nail plate very well and they also have a nice little sharp edge to them so you can clean off anything that's left over on the nail plate or clean up anything in big in back of the nail so it helps and it's a dual cuticle pusher um, and this one i honestly don't remember where i got it from but i do have sets of all of these cuticle pushers i have minimum five of each so i do have five of these this is great for petite nails clients that have a smaller nail bed or kids that are doing manicures or pedicures this works really great for that now the only thing is that the other end is very very sharp so I would dial it down to make sure I don't cut your client with this because if it's fresh and new you can't cut them because it's that sharp so I don't use this at all but if you were to use it I would recommend that and then the next one I'm going to show you is the exact same of this one but it is a lot bigger and this one is great for pedicures or great for clients that have a lot larger nail beds if they have bigger nail beds or men nail beds this works really great and i do use this end because it works really great it's not as sharp as the smaller one you previously saw so it works really really great the next thing i think you will definitely need is a cuticle nipper these are great to clean off any dead skin around the nail especially any hang nails i don't cut the cuticle that was something that was illegal in the state of illinois now depending on your state you can definitely go how you would like about that but these are just great to nip off anything on the nail plates now the first one I showed you is Tweezerman that goes for around $30 from Amazon. This one is from Dollar Tree. It is only $1. These are great to use. You can toss them after they doll out, so it's really your choice. But these work great. As, some, as soon as they doll out, I use them to remove any products, acrylic, anything else that I need to remove from the nail plate. Now, these are buffers. Um, I definitely recommend having buffers. The ones on the left, the orange ones, I got them from Tony's Nail Supply Store online. And that store is located in Texas. And these buffers are great. They're small. I use them just once and then toss them. Um, for my clients, for myself, I do keep them. So these are great and they're very, very inexpensive. You can get a whole bunch of them for a very small amount of money. They work great, like I said, but they are disposable. That's usually what they're supposed to be for, unless you want to save them for your client and put them under their name. Now, this is a regular buffing black. You can get this from Sally's Beauty Supply or any other beauty supply store. These are a lot bigger. You can cut these in half or in threes and use them for your client and then toss them so you can get more use out of them. But I recommend those for more personal use. Now, these are my files that, um, that I use. Um, this one is very common. This is the file that I use on the natural nail plate. This one is a 180 grit file, which is what's recommended. That grit, 180 and higher is what's recommended on the natural nail plate. This works really great. It's small. I use them specifically for manicures and for clients with smaller nail beds. Um, this one is was one of my favorites, honestly, when I first got out of school. This one's from Sally's Beauty Supply. This is a great file. It's just like the previous file. It is 180 grit. Works just as fine. It is a lot longer. I feel like I don't fully use the whole nail file. That's why I stopped buying them. And it works really great to clean off the nail plate. And I also love 
this round edge because I would push back the cuticle after I used the cuticle pusher and then I would do little round motions to clean up any parts that I left of the cuticle, the dry cuticle on the plate and it cleans them off so so nice. So it's like a double use for them. These are great. I would save these and label them with clients names just because they're such great quality. But I wouldn't use them just to toss them. So that's why I stopped buying them. I felt like I was I didn't want to spend the money. These are also from Sally's Beauty Supply. This is a 240 grit and the back of it is 400 grit. It is just a buffing file. It is just not in a block. It is in a file format. So it is your choice to use. I do have a handful of these, but I only use them on myself because I don't want to use them on a client and have to toss it away. So you can cut them again and use them on your clients. Now these are my files that I used on artificial nails. I don't use these on regular nails, just on the natural nail bed. These are 100 and 180 grit files. These are great. I love using anything below 100 grit file on acrylics or gels because it just saves so much time. The white one is from Tony's Nail Supply and the gray one is from Sally's Beauty Supply. The Tony ones, you can get a pack of 50 of them for like 9, 10 bucks and that is freaking amazing if you order online. The gray ones are from Sally's a buck and change. This is the brush that I use on clients. You can definitely use the brush that comes with the handle and you could still sanitize it perfectly fine in Barberside. But these I got from Tony's Nail Supply. They work really great and I definitely recommend a brush to brush off any powder or any residue left on the nail plate so that you have a cleaner surface. And these I just toss them in Barberside in 10 minutes and they fully, fully clean. So they were great to be reused for clients. The next thing I recommend is definitely lint-free wipes. You can even use paper towels if you cut them into squares. I just don't have the time to do that. I definitely love these. I get these in a pack of 200 for 99 cents. And I get this from Tony's Nail Supply online. And these work really, really great. They're very, very thin. They don't leave any lint. Just use alcohol and you're good to go. This is a cotton ball as well. It's something I recommend to have if you're trying to soak off the nail. I use one cotton ball per in hand. So one cotton ball will be split into five sections. Then I use another cotton ball to do the same thing. Now I just started using these face pads. These work amazing. I cut them into four. So I use one pad for four fingers. So I normally use two and a half pads. They work really great just like I'm showing you. And then I put the aluminum foil with the acetone. Works really great. I feel like it works faster than the actual cotton ball. Really your choice of what you use, but I get those from Walmart. This aluminum foil I get from Dollar Tree. I get the ones that you use in the kitchen, but that hairstylist can use for hair, and I cut those in sizes. So it's really your choice. The kind balls I do get from Dollar Tree as well, but I currently don't take clients, so it's a lot easier for me to shop for things. Now these are the paper towels I use. I only use Bounty. It's just what has worked for me. They are strong. They absorb really well. And they just work really really great and this is what i use on top of a paper towel and um on top of a towel not a paper towel and this is the towels that i use i got these from amazon i will try my best to remember the name but i don't think i can it's been such a long while and i get them white because i like to see how dirty they get so i can clean them with um clorox and they don't get you know the color removed or anything so i lay this down and then do a paper towel on top and it works really great you can use black it looks a lot better and nicer but i like using clorox when it comes to cleaning my things and the next thing that i definitely recommend is these soak off bowls you don't have to have two separate type of bowls the soak off bowls i love because you can remove them and add warm to hot water underneath so that you can heat up the acetone and it will just accelerate the removing process of any nail you have acrylic or gel and it works really really great so it just saves my time so much more when i soak off the nails i usually use two bowls so i can work one hand at a time and i also work one finger at a time because once you remove your finger from the acetone it will dry up really fast and reharden so then you will have to work twice as hard and keep putting it in the liquid so it's good to work one finger at a time so that you can do it a lot faster the next thing i recommend is just a regular manicure bowl now you don't have to get the previous manicure bowl i just showed you you can just grab this one but i specifically use this one only for manicures for regular polish and men's manicures it works really great i don't need to fully warm the water i can just put warm water and it'll last me through the manicure but um this works really nice and i do love the clear 
type of them. This is the gloves that I used. These were gifted to me as a gift from my mom. Um, she got them from just a medical supply store. You can get any one. Now, I do like the look of the black ones. I would definitely try to get into those once I've finished all the boxes I have of these. And you just want to make sure that they're specifically made for nails so that they don't disintegrate or have, make any holes in them while using acetone. And I highly recommend wearing them when you are removing acrylic, gel, or any type of products off the nail. Especially if your nails are done and nice, this will keep your nail sets nice and fresh. Uh, this is a nail mask I also recommend having. You want to have this so that you don't inhale any of the dust and particles that you're drilling, especially when you're removing a ton of product. I do recommend that now I do get very hot with these, so I don't use them often. I will show you something else that I use instead, but you can definitely use this, and I do recommend it, especially if you're starting off. I tend to hold my breath a lot more now, just to make sure. Uh, the next item is cuticle oil. These are cuticle oil pens. You can get these from AliExpress, Wish, eBay, Amazon. These are great for personal use. They're great as gifts to clients. They're great to throw in your purse and carry along. They're refillable, so you can fill them in with any type of cuticle oil you prefer. These are different types of fruits um, that are in the cuticle. So there's like um, peach and there's watermelon and there's so many of them. But these are really, really great. Um, now, this is one of my favorite cuticle oils. This is from the gel bottle. It is completely finished. It is one of my favorites. I have to restock on it. Now, this is around $19, a little bit more on the pricey side. Smells amazing, like a summer vacation with pina coladas. It works really great. At, it, it soaks up in the skin. Great for pictures as well. But if you're on a budget, um, I would definitely recommend Orly Gel Effects. This is my number one favorite of all times oldie cuticle oil it smells so good it soaks off really nice it takes a little bit longer to soak into the nails and into your skin but it really works very nice so if you're in a budget i definitely recommend this one even if you're not on a budget now this is my newer favorite one this is from ncla so rich this smells like chocolate if you like sweet chocolatey smells this is amazing. There's a lot more liquidy, but this is one of the fastest cuticle oils that soaks up into the nail. So if you take videos and pictures of nails, definitely recommend that one. The next thing that I recommend is a cuticle eliminator. This is great for manicures, specifically when you do regular polished manicures. Um, great for men's manicures. And when you put this, you apply a drop of this to the nails before going into a warm bowl. And this would help soften the cuticle that's dried up in your nail bed and when you push back with the cuticle pusher it completely comes off it works amazing i got it from sally's now this is the warm lotion this is from sally's beauty supply it is a pink tint lotion it works amazing i warm it up in my hands before i give them a massage when i do manicures or men's manicures works really well smells amazing i got it from sally's beauty supply the next thing is this working hands cream. I do this for men's manicures only. It is a little bit more on the oily side feel, but I use a ton of this on men's manicures to make sure that they're super moist and hydrated. And I massage this into them. And then at the end, towards the end of the manicure, I'll have them wash their hands. And it still stays on the hands, but it doesn't feel as oily. Works amazing for men's hands and men's manicures. This is my spray bottle. I use this specific one for alcohol, and I use it to spray on alcohol on the nail base. This is specifically what I use to dehydrate my nails. I use 70% isopropyl alcohol, and I got this gifted from my mom in a big old box with like 10 of them. So I'm set for a long time. Um, I also do buy from Target. Um, I really like theirs, and they usually have really good prices from Target whenever I need more because I use the one from Target specifically for my countertops and um, this is just as it's an acetone bottle but there's polish remover in here and um, my acetone I always buy from Sally's or anywhere I find a good deal also like I said I use polish remover this is from Target and um, I also have a polish remover bottle that I just finished. This was gifted to me by a student, but I do recommend any polish remover. You want to have acetone and polish remover. This is my acetone bottle. This is one I got. I don't remember where. It was a website that no longer exists right now. It was years and years ago, but I love it because it has held up like six plus years. You can get a bottle like this from any beauty nail supply store, especially Tony's nail supply store. This bottle, a polished 100% acetone, I got this one from Walmart. So anywhere like that. 
This is Nail Basics Activator Spray. It's just an activator. It is in a spray form. I used to use this all the time, but would get a lot of complaints from clients that the smell was just too much. So now I just fill up my activator bottles that are emptying or getting halfway full. That way I seal them off and um, I prefer brush on activators. I have a ton of different ones. I have from Models Wands. I have stuff that company sends me. This one's from Cuccio brand. I have Cura Sky. It really doesn't matter the brand. As long as it's an activator, it will completely help out with your dip manicures and dry up that glue. Um, they do have also some affordable ones at Sally's, but I do recommend an activator if you're planning to do any type of crystal adhe uh, adhesions and also dip nails. Now this glue I got from Dollar Tree just because I wanted to try some tube glues. I, you do get two of them for a dollar. I know there's better deals in Amazon where you can buy 30 plus for like 10 bucks even 50 for like 15 bucks so you can get better glues i do use my base glues for dips i use those for glue so i use them to adhere crystals i use them to adhere nail tips remember the base and dip nails are just that they are just glue so i used all of these as glue um, i did use a different one from aliexpress it's out of stock right now so i didn't want to show that because it's been a while that it's been out of stock now these are my nail tips now these are the most used uh, these are Nuni Taurus nail tips. These are natural. I really do like this because they're like pre-pinched. They're almost pre-shaped. So you don't have to do much work when you apply the product on top. These are nice, but I, I'm a clear girl. I like clear nail tips at all times if possible. Um, these are my other natural nail tips. These are just regular nail tips that I got from, if I'm correct, it's either Amazon or AliExpress. Um, I do recommend having a, a natural nail tip and a clear nail tip to have options for your clients. See how these are wider? These are not pre-pinched or shaped. They're just regular nail tips. Now, I do like clear. I'm a, like I said, I'm a clear girl. It's just if you want to do encapsulation, 3 r or just transparent nails, you don't have to worry. You just do a clear nail tip and do clear acrylic or clear gel. And these are full cover nails. These are the ones I'm using, I have on my hand. I use these specifically in my hand. You can use these to towards the end of the nail and just use them as tips, or you can use these full nails to do press on nails as well so these are really nice i love the shape it's like an almond shape it's really pretty um i really do like these i got them from amazon these are one of my favorite nail tips they're from glitter planet and glitter planet is in the uk but they do send to the us these are amazing these are stiletto but they're more on the shorter side of stiletto the only negative thing i would tell you about these tips is when you press them too hard on the nail because they are very curvy they tend to kind of dent and leave like a white mark, like a white line. So if you're doing any kind of clear, transparent look, you can still see a shadow of that white line. And I'll show you right now when you put a little bit of pressure. And this is only with the stiletto ones. This doesn't affect all the other nail shapes. It's just because these are so pointy that it does exactly that. It's not very noticeable, but it's just a little, uh, but you can get a stiletto fine pointy nail right away. These are my favorite pre-pinched square nails. You do get 500 in this package deal. I think they're so worth it. They're pre-pinched. They have a beautiful C-curve. They are taken in so much and they come out so nice. And I already have a set already here. I just want to show you. They're just so taken in. So it's not as wide. So you don't have to do a lot of filing, like I said. Unless you want a coffin, then you do filing. Now I'm going to show you nail clippers. I got these from school in my nail kit. Um, these are a lot older. These are more curved. So you will have your curved nail clippers, which are the most common to use. These are fine. I like to use these on kids. I like to use these whenever I'm doing a round nail shape, an almond shape. But these are my favorite straight nail clippers. They work amazing. These are great for shaping coffins, stilettos, or just cutting the nail really nice, especially on men's hands. I love, love using straight clippers. It's my <laughs> number one thing to use. So I do recommend having both just to be safe. Now this other one is more of a home one, but if you do kids manicures, I would definitely recommend having a smaller one so that you can go around their nails a lot better. And this one's just a smaller, normal, regular nail clipper that you can get any beauty supply. And these are just uh, nippers that are for nail tips. A lot of people use these to like clip off their acrylic or gel. I don't recommend doing that. You, you I mean, you can, but I don't recommend it because you will damage your own nail or make a crack in the acrylic and it's just a pain to fix but um these are great to cut off the nail tip this is my favorite primer i recommend using primers this is for acrylic nails it is a protein bond from young nails 
I also recommend a damping dish. I got this dish from Sally's Beauty Supply and I got a few from school. Um, the lids I got from a student as a gift, so I can't tell you where to get that, but they're great for when you're filing to cover your monomer so you don't contaminate it. But definitely damping dishes. I like the smaller side because I don't like to waste a lot of my acrylic and I like to use acrylic specific for clients. I don't like to reuse it for another client. Another thing I recommend is nail forms. These are my favorite Mia Secret nail forms. I love them because they're long enough to do really long nails and I'm showing you here if you apply them how much more I have to build a longer nail which works great. Um, they're very sturdy. They're from Amazon around 15 bucks for 500. These I got from school. I used them a few times and never again. These are more of a natural nail tips because you can do really short nice nails. So for more of a short nail client these are fine. I mean, they're not that sturdy. They don't hold up that well, but they're fine for beginners. But any type of nail forms. These are Sani Soaks. So what these are are just tablets for manicures and pedicures. Now in this clip, I won't be going in this whole video. I won't be going into pedicures, but I'm just showing you what I use for manicures that I also use for pedicures. And these are great to throw in your manicure bowl. It, it's um, antibacterial, so you won't. It re it's really good and clean. The only bad thing about this is that it leaves a blue tint and that's fine. It will be removed once you file, buff the nails and all that. It'll completely come off. That's the only bad thing about that. And if you don't want to use that, you can use a liquid hand soap. This is from OPI. I have a ton of these from school. And you just do a few drops of this and then the water and it bubbles up really nice. This works really, really nice. Any hand soap will do. But either one of these can be used for pedicures and manicures. And then the next thing that I recommend is a practice hand. Now you don't have to go out of your way and spend a ton of money for this practice hand. I'm just showing you what I have. And this works great because it's as close as you can get it to a realistic person. It's really nice. But if you're a beginner, I highly suggest you start with the plastic one instead of this one. Because this one you need a lot more maintenance. You need to be more careful when you're filing because you can file off chunks of the nail. I've had this for over a year. That is why it looks the way it does. But if... If I would have taken 100% care of it, 100% on it, I think it would have been in better shape. I just sometimes hurry up and do what I have to do. But um, And I think also because it's a practice hand, I'm not so careful about damaging a client, you know? This one is highly recommended for any student. It works great. It feels like you're working with the client as well. And these clear nail tips, I won't not tell you where they're from because they have been out of stock for a long, long time. I cannot find them anywhere. They normally come in brown. So if you can find them, that's great, but if I, I can't tell you where to get them from. But this hand was from eBay for 20 bucks. They also have it on Amazon for 20 bucks. It's just a practice hand for nails. Definitely recommend getting that. The next thing I will talk to you about is acrylic brushes. I have a ton. This is just a little of the ones I These are the ones that I thought were worth showing you. Let me just say that. Um, I have a ton. I love oval shape more than anything. It just feels nicer and I like them to be pre-pinched. If they are not pre-pinched, they, pre they can pinch it for you at the store when you buy them, depending on the store, of course. And if you order online, I highly su suggest pre-pinch. They just help lay down your acrylic a whole lot better. And I have a ton of brands, you guys, but one of my favorites is Alpha Brush. They're affordable, they work great, they're long-lasting, and they are pre-pinched. So I really, really like this one. It's a size 9. It works perfectly. It's what I like to work with. This is a size 8. This is from Nuni Taurus. This also works really nice. It's a little bit smaller. So for smaller beads. Um, I also have a size 14. I have a size 16. This one's from Glitter Planet where I get my nail tips. Works really pretty. I mostly got it because it's holographic. But it still works really nice. It's pre-pinched. It's oval. And if I'm correct, it was a size 12. So any size, it's fine. I have up to a size 16, a size 14. I will not go above a 16. But they work really great. These are my gel brushes. I recommend having at least some gel brushes. This is my favorite type. Um, I got these from eBay. And I know they sell them at AliExpress. They're just gel brushes. Uh, they work really nice. I like more of the straight brushes. And I have a ton of these. I have another pink one and I have the black one here that you see. Um, I just like the design as well. And the other one is from AliExpress. And it works fine. Now, you do need at least clear acrylic or natural acrylic. This is Mia Secrets Curl Acrylic. I get this from anywhere from $15 to $25, eight ounce. This is Mia Secrets Cover Pink. It is my favorite cover pink. I would recommend to have a cover pink for French nails or just as a base because it is very, it's one of the most known colors to be asked by clients. And this is my other clear acrylic. It is from Young Nails, my favorite. Young Nails and Meal Secrets are my favorite. This one you need to be licensed though. So if you're a beginner, do Meal Secrets. It gives you more time to set. 
Young Nails is a lot faster in drying. It dries a lot faster, so you need to have a little bit more experience. Now with the monomers, I do love Young Nails. I've just finished it. Um, so I stocked up on Nail Secrets. I found this one on sale, so I definitely grabbed it. You can get it from um, Amazon or any other store. I don't recommend the Nuni Taurus. I did do a review and I really liked it. A few, like two months. And after that, it started tainting all my acrylic powders pink. So I don't recommend it. The next thing I recommend is a top coat. One of my favorites is M Out The Door Top Coat. It is a thicker consistency. It encapsulates really pretty. It holds up for like a week, a week and a half. Um, if you have it on your pedicure, it lasts the two, three, four weeks really nicely. Now this is the same thing, the same top coat. It just has holographic glitters. So I bought it because it just intrigued me. Who doesn't like glitter? So I thought it was going to work just as good as the regular top coat and it really doesn't. This lasts about a week. Um, on my hands, it lasted a few days and it started chipping. I'm thinking because of the glitter. Um, but on the toes, it lasted maybe a week and a half. Not as long as regular, but I just wanted to show it to you guys that there's options of holographic toppers. But this top coat is one of my favorites. Definitely get it if you're doing a lot of manicures and pedicures. It's long lasting, very shiny, and it holds up very well. Now the next top coat that I really do recommend, and I will kill this name, it is called Secevite, I think. This top coat is amazing as well. I, I haven't picked my favorite from these two, but this one is up there as well. Very thick, glossy, long lasting, my two, three weeks manicure, pedicure, even longer. These are great top coats. Now for my base, I use so far these three. This is OPI Rich Filler. This is my second bottle already. I no longer take care of clients, so it's been lasting me. This is Nail Envy Nail Strengthener. This strains up any weak nails. The other one fills in any fillers if the nails are uneven. And this is just a regular base coat that I got from school. So I don't know exactly where this is from, but um, it is just a regular base coat. Really your choice. I always prefer OPI when it comes to regular polish anything. Always OPI. It's my favorite. Now, the next thing I recommend is a gel top coat. This is Yogi. It's very affordable. This is more the model ones very affordable as well and it works so so great one of my favorite top three for sure this is one of my favorites this one and the gel bottle this is a shiny e top coat from enel couture works really great affordable as well this is a short gel top coat works really nice and it's very affordable but enel couture is my favorite and the gel bottle is my favorite those two i cannot go wrong with them the next thing that i recommend is a base coat this is a short base coat, works really nice. I, I feel like all the base coats I've tried work really nice, I've never complained. This is from Enel Couture, it is their base coat, love the packaging. And this is Models One's base coat. Depending on what top coat I use, I use the base coat. Sometimes I just keep going. Now this is my ultimate favorite brand for gel polishes, gel builders gel top coats it's the gel bottle company this is their clear rubber top coat i do have a video specifically building using this you can use this to encapsulate or just top coat it because it is a thicker top coat this is a clear builder in a bottle gel it's just gel in a bottle that you can build with works amazing i love it it is more on the pricey side around 20 bucks per bottle and you do have to be licensed to get it um, this is the matte top coat, one of my favorite matte top coats of all time. It works really nice. There's no sticky layer to clean off or anything like that. This brand is my favorite, but like I said, you do have to be licensed to get it. If you want something close to affordable to that, that works just as good. I highly suggest getting your Yogi. This builder gel works really, really good, just as strong as the gel bottle. I just, I just love the packaging of the gel bottle and the performance. But this one works just as good. It's a little bit more runny than the gel bottle. The gel bottle is a little bit thicker, so it holds a lot better. And I prefer um, gels that hold a little bit more and settle in very slowly. So it's really preference, but these are really nice and affordable. You can get them at yoyogi.com. Um, you can also get them at Amazon as well. Now, Builder Gels, this is another one of my favorites. It doesn't come in a bottle. It's an oldie, but a goodie. Um, I also like this UV gel. It comes in clear and different colors. I have a pink and I have light pink and, as, and white as well. I get this from PremierNailSource.com. Works really great. It's a little bit more runny. And this is my favorite for adhering any type of crystals. So it's the gummy jelly. It works really great for that. And these are some of the regular polish. So I do recommend regular polish. Um, IVD is one of my favorites as well as OPI. OPI is my favorite brand. It dries super quick. 
it is very pigmented so you always only need one or two layers depending on the color and like I said it's fast drying which is a bonus and it's very chip resisting so it works really really great another thing that I recommend is gel polish colors these are like I said my favorite brand the gel bottle these usually only need one layer one coat and you fully cover the whole nail if you want an alternative a cheaper more inexpensive one is models ones these work amazing one or two coats and you are fully ready to go sometimes they have them on sale for two dollars maybe two or three colors at a time um, but i just i love them i'll buy them whether they're on sale or not this is my lamp it is from ibd i got this from the chicago beauty show um, I got it on sale with a whole bunch of their polishes and it works really nice. You can also remove the bottom piece of it so you can use for pedicures if you do want to do no chip pedicures and it has a 10, 30, and 90 seconds and it's old. I've had this for six plus years and, and it still works like it's new. Really nice and a little bit of a hard shape but if you travel a lot, if you do nails and you travel to places and you carry things on, I highly recommend a traveling one. This is just a LED lamp. Now the only thing with this is you have to cure four fingers at a time and the nails are not going to be that long if you're using this type of lamp. It won't fully cure them. It's one setting. It's a 60 second setting timer for that brand. For this one is Models Once. This one has a 60 and a 90 setting which is really nice. It's a little bit bigger so you can fit the four fingers more comfortably without feeling like you're not fully curing the nails. Um, this one like i said you have to do the four fingers and then you would do the thumb but with these type of lamps you just got to be very careful on fully curing the nails and not having too long of the nails now the cord for this one works really nice because it's super long the other one's a lot shorter so it's really preference if you travel a lot i highly highly recommend this nail file even if you don't travel this file is really nice it is the nat plus i did a full video on this on my youtube channel and you can carry it on and charge it and it will last such a long time charged so you're not going to be plugged into it all the time. This is how the handle looks. It's really nice and it is heavy, but it's not super heavy. It's heavy enough. And this is where you connect the charging port. You can also clip this on yourself, on your apron, on your jeans and walk around with it. And you don't need to carry the charger. I would kind of suggest you still take it, but you don't need to have it, which is really, really nice. And it's very lightweight, the actual port of the nail file. Um, and it's just a regular wall port. It comes in this case. It comes with a whole bunch of other accessories that I have on the other video. I just didn't show it. This is the one file that I started with and I love, love this file. This one I got from PremierNailSource.com for $100. It does not come with this holder. It comes with a clear one that turned yellow. I used this black one that came with my previous nail file that I showed you. This one works so good, you guys. I've had this for six plus years and it works amazing. It works still really good for $100, you guys, at PremierNailSource.com. Works really, really nice. I've tried other ones from Amazon for like 20 40 50 bucks. Not worth it. And then the next thing I recommend you guys to get is a nail bit holder or container somewhere where you can put your nail bits after you clean them. Now, this is, and this is a medium sanding nail bits. These are great because they're disposable. Use them for a client and toss them. They're really, really great and will help you with any lifting. I highly suggest you buy them in big packs. Now, if you don't want a disposable one and you want a clean one, this is great. This is from ETA Erica and this one can be cleaned out, sanitized and reused over and over, but you will have to repurchase either way once it starts dulling down. Um, another thing that I do recommend you have is some sort of cuticle bit. Um, whether it's the sanding band that I previously showed you or bits like this. The first one on the left is from Erica ETA. It is a cylinder type of nail bit. It cleans the nail plate while cleaning the cuticle area. The one on the right is from Amazon. And that one is very inexpensive from Amazon. It cleans the cuticle area. Both of those are great. As long as you have something similar to that, would be really nice for nail work. Um, another thing too that I recommend is to get a nail bit that's coarse. And this will be great for removing any acrylic or gel in bulk so that you don't have to sit there and file off with your hand file. This would be great to remove. You might also want to get a medium one just to clean off any imperfections in the nail. Then this is one of my favorite things. This It is a nail dust collector. I got this from Amazon anywhere from $35 to $40. Really, really nice. Worth spending the money, you guys, if you can't afford the high-end ones. It comes with one filter. You can definitely buy the filters separate and you can hand wash the filters, let them fully dry and then put them back in. Now, this will help so much in the dust and powder that you have. You won't be able to inhale it because it sucks it in downwards. It is a little bit on the loud side, but if you don't mind that, definitely worth it. 
Now, one must have, and this is a must, is Barbicide. This kills almost everything. It works amazing to clean your tools. And I bought it at Sally's as well as this glass container. I got this one from Sally's. This is where I would put my tools, let them fully sink in there and get clean and sanitized. Um, now I use this one because I only work on myself, so I only need a small amount of it. And I just need the actual part that's touching my nail to get cleaned. And that is what I use, but I do recommend you using something like that. The next thing I definitely recommend you getting is a planner or some sort of schedule I write down book. all my appointments. This one specifically was from last year. Um, so I just, I have to write down things. I love writing things down and having to see them in person. Um, you can always use apps or anything else, but this also works great to keep track of any other scheduling that you have to do or any other appointments or information regarding your clients. This is my new notebook for 2020 and I just put a bunch of stickers, motivating stickers, and I did color coordinate this. This is just due to my social media, my Instagram, Facebook, Patreon page, just every single note that I can think of, I write it down. Um, it just helps to keep you organized, definitely. Um, the next thing that I recommend you getting is business cards. These are my first business cards, and I don't remember exactly where I got these from, but um, if you search online, you can get a pretty decent price for like 500 of them for a few dollars. I would say go small at first. I'm hiding the number because I don't know whose number it is now. Um, and this is my newer business card. I love it because it just goes with my whole theme, marble, rose gold. I even have some Tiffany blue in there. And I do always put my social media. These are great to give out to your clients so they can give out to people. And if those people come back, then they can get a percentage off or a few dollars off or a free service of some kind. So that's great to have. I also have these flyers that I would put on the desk. These were the prices that I would do for my clients. Once I start taking clients again, I'm definitely going to change them up a little bit. But it's just great to have everything up front. Let your clients know exactly what they are paying for and what they want to get so that there's nothing hidden and they don't come back expecting certain discounts or any you know there's no miscommunication so it's always always great to have all that set up and ready good way to look at it is look around your area see what the prices are um the next thing i recommend is an apron this one was gifted to me by a student there are really pretty crystals on there and it is black so it's a lot more noticeable to get dirty but it's fine because you can just throw it in the washer but i do recommend this to keep your clothes clean as well as to look a little bit more professional and this one i got from school as soon as i became a nail tech educator so i also use this one as well and i love it because it has my name so you can always iron something on it a design or anything but i do highly recommend you getting one something else that i definitely recommend you getting is an armrest you can choose any kind of armrest i got this one from marshall's and i simply put a paper towel on top of it i love this one because this one is actually a ab cruncher little pad so people use this to do abs so that they don't hurt their back um this works really really well first of all because it matches my whole color coordination as well as it's a little bit longer than your normal armrest so i really really like how comfortable this is for my clients and for myself um, I've gotten a lot of compliments on this and it's simply just an app cruncher cushion. So you can use anything. They have many cheap ones for e on eBay or um, AliExpress just for a dollar. So just regular armrests. Um, the next thing I definitely recommend is getting some sort of labeling system. I got this from Amazon. It was around $19, $16 around there. Um, it works really, really great. I just used a little tape to number all my polishes, my swatch sticks. It works really, really great. I also have books. I specifically put my gel polishes in these books. They're just a lot more presentable for my clients. They look really nice. I got these from Amazon. They're a little bit more on the pricey side, but you do not have to get these. I'm just showing you the way that I label them. This is all my dip powders, and I also label them in books. Now, when it comes to my acrylic and um, when I swatch my gel polishes for videos, I definitely use these clear swatch sticks, just the regular size ones, and then the stiletto ones, just to give them more of a detail. I love these, and I do not, I do clear because I want the truest color of the polish. So when my client, client picks the color, it's exactly what is on the swatch stick. If you do neutral or you do a white base, sometimes it accentuates the color and it won't be as true when you apply it on their nails. So you want if to you careful. travel to do services, I highly recommend getting some sort of train case. Um, this is the one that I had. It's great quality, it lasted me a long time. I gifted to my sister because I no longer did services out of my home. But um, this is my desk too. I definitely recommend some sort of desk. Um, mine just has a black legs instead of the silver, but any desk that you can find that works for you will do. Um, the next thing is a chair for yourself. I got this from Ikea. I just put a cushion. This is very lightweight, moves around great, works really, really nice for me. 
Um, the next thing is a client chair. Uh, with this client chair, it's very heavy, but let me tell you, this is the most comfortable chair ever. I've got nothing but compliments. I did not pay $72 for this. I paid around $40, $50 when I bought it, but it did go up in price. The next thing I recommend is storage. There's some really inexpensive ones at Target or Walmart, but I love the IKEA LX drawers. They just work so nice for me. That is it for me. If you have any questions, want to know any links, please don't hesitate. Comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching.